be Valentine's Day, I thought I'd brand myself pink to be <laughs> consistent with the occasion as well as your play. So, um, uh, but anyway, this, uh, I think that it was a very nice setup to what I'm going to talk to you about is that really what we are witnessing in some ways is a reversal of many of the assumptions that we've held so dear about how brands get built and how we communicate and engage with consumers and the role that they play. And I just want to take you on a very quick uh, ride or a journey through what's going on in this new media universe and the implications uh, that, that, that they hold for marketers, particularly in the consumer packaged goods business. Um, and the observation that I have, and I'll begin with, is that um, the internet now is almost 10 years old uh, in terms of really breaking into the consumer mainstream. However, for the first 10 years or so, by and large, what I have observed is that uh, the, the brand marketers, consumer packaged goods companies, have kind of sat out the revolution a little bit. Because at first glance, this is not a medium that seems to appeal or be consistent with the kinds of categories that you folks uh, participate in relative to um, categories that are A, more search than experience, and B, more high ticket and high involvement than low involvement. So, uh, so it seemed to me that the automotive companies, the travel companies, the financial services companies, the technology companies really gravitated towards the medium. And even the rise of Google uh, and, and, and search advertising is really about direct response. So the question that really, uh, I think, both you all as well as the Googles of the world are grappling with, what does the web or the internet or these new media vehicles that we see and the involvement of consumers, what promise does that hold for brands? What promise does that hold for emotional engagement? What promise does that hold, you know, what is their life beyond search? Uh, and this is something that uh, I have been in conversations with actually the providers on the other end of the spectrum. I've worked with Google, I've worked with Yahoo, I've worked with Microsoft at MSN, and they're grappling with, if we come to General Mills, what is our story? What can we do for your brands? So they are uh, equally confused. So you know you can drive some solace from there. And meanwhile, as I look at marketers, uh, uh, who I, I look at uh, brand managers, they are caught between sort of a view of traditional media and media campaigns that they know doesn't work the way it used to, and this big bad wild world out there that we sort of know works but don't know how to handle. So that's kind of the gap or the chasm that I will try to address and approach in my conversation today. Okay. So, so first, what's going on in media? Three big trends. Media is getting rich, media is becoming mobile, and media is going social. I think these are, and at the intersection of these, you can create lots of things. For example, what is YouTube? It's a convergence of social media and rich media, right? It's social video. Uh, if you look at, you know, a new website that I was actually a new company that I was asked to serve on the board of. It's called Crush or Flush. You know, it's appropriate for Valentine's Day. You get a multimedia message. You see a picture of a person. You either do this or this. You flush them or you have you, you crush them, and then you collect these points uh, and over and and then um, you know you build your social equity through uh, tra <laughs> transmitting your image to lots of uh, unknown people. Um, anyway, so that's a. <laughs> But that's, that's an example of actually a combination of this, this, and this. It's mobile, it's video, and it's, on a, you know, and it, and it's about social. So as we start to think about this, there are several, several phenomena that uh, are happening at the intersection of these three megatrends. First of all, the mobility means that media is now ubiquitous. It is all around. It is with you. you know, it's really now the mobile device is being called the remote control for your lifestyle. Uh, so it's, it's you can take it with you wherever. So people are surrounded by media all the time. Media is transparent. You know, it is. Uh, I think that the the fact that peer reviews and peer influences become so important. And transparency is a fact of life, and we can't hide anymore. Media has become more democratic. It is really of the people, for the people, by the people. And you've seen uh, examples of you know YouTube as well as. Uh, lots of other uh, peer-generated, uh, user-generated media. Media are personalizable. You can have a very individual, very personal conversation. You can, it can be my, Yahoo, my, whatever. Media is memorable. This is a very interesting thing to keep in mind. When you design an ad today, 
think of not only the 30 seconds that it stays on, but how many times it gets passed along. You know, there's a difference between word of mouth and word of mouse. Word of mouth is ephemeral. Word of mouse is enduring. It can be indexed, it can be archived, it can be shared, it can be passed along. 